There are four shelves in the chamber. The top shelf is connected to ground to a bus bar on the right side. The second shelf down is called the direct shelf. It's connected to the RF power supply on a bus bar on the left side. The third shelf down is a grounded grid which is connected to the ground bar on the right side. The bottom shelf is the indirect shelf. It's floating. It's not connected to RF or ground. The grounded grid takes away the charge in the ions that make it down to the bottom shelf. You get a plasma throughout the whole chamber, but the most concentrated, most active part is towards the direct shelf. When you make an oxygen plasma, it splits up O2 into the individual oxygen and strips, after they're stripped of a few electrons, they become ions. Those ions are attracted to the direct plate because of the bias on it and they're accelerated towards that. So they hit with a lot of energy, but it also will heat up your sample. The grounded grid takes away the charge from the plasma so that down in the bottom, you basically just see free oxygen radicals. There's no acceleration down there. It's just that they're exposing the samples to free oxygen, which slowly burns it away. The bottom shelf is a good place to put samples that are really sensitive to temperature and or, or the charge in the plasma. For most of the work you do, you're going to be using the second shelf down, which is a direct shelf. Now you need to program it. You always start out in program number one. There's a laminated card near the machine that gives you most of the information you need to enter your program information. On the right side is the gas flow entries and in the center area is most of the other things that you're going to enter. If you hit the set button, it allows you to change all the things in that, that row. Make sure you're starting in program one. So once you hit set, then you can scroll down and change any of those things using the up and down keys to change those entries. So looking at this chart, you, for press, this is for an option. We don't have that. You just leave it at zero. For That should be zero. The next one down is power. I'm going to leave it here at 75 watts. Next one down is endpoint. That should be 100. This is for a feature that the machine doesn't have. Then we have time. That's in seconds. So you can use these up and down keys to change the time. This one, leave it at zero. And then the last one is the base pressure. This is the pressure the machine will pump down to before it actually starts the run. This should be always at 85. Well, after I enter those, I like to leave it on the top position here, turn off set, and now that will show the pressure as it's pumping down. Right now, it's not within the range of the pressure gauge, so what it's doing is showing a memory of the previous run. But when you actually start pumping, it will show the pressure. Now you're going to enter the gas flow. This section on the right is for gas. Gas 1 is nitrogen. Nitro it should always be set at zero. Gas 2 is oxygen. It's typically used at 2, 3, or 10, and that's an SCCM. I'm going to use the up-down key to change it to 2. Gases 3, 4, 5, and 6 should always be set to 0. Those are unused gas channels. After I program the gases, I like to leave it in gas 2 position and then hit the set button so that now it'll show the flow in SCCM during the actual run. Now you hit the start button and the whole process is automatic. Okay, now a little bit of time's gone by and you can see the pressure gauge is falling. You see it on the row below, it says press is lit up. That means that the pressure gauge is turned on. 
What you're waiting for now is for the pressure to fall below 85, which is the set point. Okay, now it's almost there. It's at 85. It just needs to fall one click below 85. So when it hits 84, you'll see the gas will turn on. There's the, the gas light is lit up. The gas pressure jumps way up and then it'll stabilize for a minute. On the right shows the flow in SCCM of oxygen. So once it's stable, the RF will turn on and the plasma will start. This is a typical pale pink glow that you would see in an oxygen plasma. If you see a purple plasma, that usually means a nitrogen leak or somebody turned on gas number one, which is nitrogen. If you think the gasket is dirty and the door seal, wipe it with an alcohol soaked wiper. When the run is done, it'll start to vent automatically. It vents with a lot of volume of gas and it starts rattling the door. So to stop the waste of nitrogen, hit the stop button on the left. If you're not there to hit the stop button, it will stop automatically after about one minute and it'll start beeping slowly. Mm -hmm.